we got an announcement that was rumored for a while. Like we all kind of saw this coming. Uh, there's no like huge surprise here, but I think it looks way better than I was expecting. Like again, we all knew we were gonna get a new Doom. It had been rumored like crazy, but they're actually saying it's in-game footage. They specify that. They're like, yeah, yeah, what you're seeing. Again, this is IGN, so the bit rate's really oddly low for some reason. But what we had heard was that it was like a medieval inspired Doom game and nobody knew what that meant. We're like, so more melee weapons is like no more sci-fi. What is it like? What does that even mean? And it's still like some sci-fi stuff, but it seems like they are leaning more into giving you a shield and maybe an ax. And then you can see he's got like the big fur cape and everything. And it's, it's just very, very Norse themed and graphically, I mean, it's ridiculous. It it looks insane. Like, look at that. He just blew off half of the dude's body. Like, look at that. So they have like a dynamic gore system that allows you to shoot off chunks of monsters, which is horrifying and pretty badass. This weapon's crazy. It takes skulls, grinds them up into ammo. <laughs> Like, it's the most doomed thing ever. Yeah, the chainsaw shield that chews up through people. Like, it's ridiculous, dude. They have been cooking. Look at that. That's crazy. This is one of the... I mean, I've, I've told you guys before. I struggle with id tech games. For whatever reason, they make me super motion sick. In the, in the past, they just always have. And it sucks because... I love this kind of stuff. You know, I eat up Doom. Like, look at that. Come on, dude. Uh, I eat this stuff up. The fast-paced shooters, high production value stuff. I love it. I just always struggle playing with them because they just, after 30 minutes or so, sometimes even just 20, I feel like a lot of people feel when they use VR for extended periods of time, like I get sweaty, hot, and miserable. Like it just doesn't work for me. My brain doesn't like it. But for this, like I've got to figure something out. Maybe I just go to the doctor, get a prescription to just turn into a vegetable, but a vegetable that can play this. Cause I want, I, I want it. I don't want to not play it because it'll make me EP or sicky, you know? <laughs> and then there's just a mech. He has a mech. There's a mount. You can fly a dragon dinosaur dog. Like it's outrageous. Blah, 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 blah coming next year it just it just looks i mean also big boss fights with this monster the mech fights like that's the player character and that's the boss you'll be fighting like i am so in you're also seemingly inside the rib cage of a giant monster which presumably you'll also get to see at some point not dead you'll see the living variant it just gets me excited like They've done, they've done a great job, done a great job. Is the FOV, I think what it is, somebody described it to me, they said it was a mixture of, you have to tweak the FOV, it's head bob stuff, which can throw people off. They said also some post processing can trigger it for people. And, and so there's different things I think I could do. And maybe what it is, is it's like, I can't play it on like a big screen, maybe I have to play it on a smaller screen or seated farther away or something. But like, you better believe I'm going to try to figure out how to fix it. Um, Cause man, man, when next year could you speculate? I think the fact that all these companies are just saying 2025 means that they have a little bit of flexibility. Cause I think they all are trying to wrap it up and get it to where it needs to be. But they don't want to announce something too early. They don't want to announce it for like March, but then it gets delayed because they run into some problem when fixing bugs. Because that happens where you'll be fixing a bug and then it's like, we fixed it, but we figured out the reason for it was because of this other thing that we need to fix because if we don't fix it, everything else will break. So we found the solution to this little problem and it made us realize we have a bigger problem. And then all this other stuff cascades down and you just don't know what you don't know. You don't know if there's gonna be something like that until you get there so they usually like to keep a little bit of a bubble around the launch date until they're really confident they can release in that window and you're seeing it even now like for dragon age uh the veil guard they are saying fall of 2024 they won't even say month they're saying fall and november i think is not a good month for that 
because it's already cram packed uh, with some big games. So it's like October makes the most sense. Why aren't they announcing it for October? I think it's because they are just worried that they're going to run into one of those problems and then have to delay it to like December, which isn't ideal or like January, February. So instead they're just keeping it very wide open and fingers crossed they can get stuff wrapped up when they need to. But I, I really think next year is just going to be crazy this year already. We're going to have some good stuff by the end of the year, but next year is going to be just pure chaos. Tell you what pure pure chaos so yeah i'm i'm thoroughly excited for doom i think it looks awesome i think it looks awesome i saw some people were like oh no they're just trying to do like change stuff for the sake of changing it it's like no bro it looks fire it looks fire better than 2023 you think well so 2025 is going to be the year of blockbusters that doesn't necessarily mean it will be the year of like critically acclaimed titles. 2023 was an amazing year for critically acclaimed stuff. So like the 10 out of 10 score games where we had a lot of those and a lot of also big games at the same time. But like 2025 is going to be the year of like GTA 6. It's going to be the year of, well, Doom as we just established. Like there's just a lot of big stuff that will be dropping allegedly sometime next year presumably we even see stuff we haven't seen announced yet like ghost of Tsushima 2 that's supposed to be there um it's also supposed to be exactly beers your friend it's supposed to be the year of the next gen consoles so allegedly we're seeing those and we'll see games push the graphical boundary that way so I think there's going to be a lot phantom blade yep south of midnight fable we'll we'll see how it all shapes up but i'm i'm pretty optimistic we will have a lot to play next year even this year we're gonna get a lot of stuff we got indiana jones still we've got uh of course now dragon age star wars outlaws ac shadows oh black myth wukong yeah in august you're right i got that you gonna cover it yeah i'd like to i'd like to the game i mean it's looked great since the first moment they showed it so i'm excited to see how it actually plays <laughs> Took my thing!